a uh, really high level. Um, like, why did you choose Flutter over React Native? You like you mentioned earlier. Yeah. That what what advantage is that? Like, why why do you think that you know you didn't stick with React Native as like at, you know when you wanted to continue your project and instead looked for Flutter? Yeah, yeah I'd love to know about that. Different. Absolutely happy to mm -hmm. oblige the solution. So I had to do some research to figure it out. Best research if you try it yourself, right? So in the early days, I noticed, okay, so I see Dart has quite a strong typing system, right? Compared mm -hmm. to JS plus TypeScript, it's like way, way ahead of it in terms of like how reliable it is, right? Mm -hmm. So that was like observation number one. I mean, like there's a simple distinction here. Maybe you are familiar with JS plus TypeScript, but I'll just explain it simply. So when you have like a TypeScript project, you actually have support for static checking in the IDE, right? And then mm -hmm. there's this transpilation project where process where like your TypeScript gets transpiled to JavaScript code, and then you get this like weird looking source code, right? And mm -hmm. um, the thing is that you lose the types there, right? So at runtime, you are like uh, butt naked, right? So you don't have <laughs> type safety in the sense that you have it in Dart, right? Dart is able to figure it out at static checking and also at runtime, right? So he will spot your issues there. And that was like straight away uh, improvement number one compared to JS plus TS, right? Plus TypeScript. So I've been working long enough with TypeScript to know exactly how to trick it into doing whatever I need it to do. But I know that is also a weakness when you have all mm -hmm. these exploits, right? Mm -hmm. So why a weakness? I mean, like, I'm not thinking about security that much more of a weakness in uh, guaranteeing maintainability of the code, right? Because this is like, if you ask me what's my uh, word number one when it comes to software development, I'm going to tell you maintainability. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. what I care the most. And uh, JavaScript plus is, is quite easily subverted, you know, you can easily screw it up and people do have a habit to place any, you know, in TypeScript and then you don't have any type safety <laughs> or you are forced to place any because TypeScript is not yet having the correct definitions for certain uh, libraries, right? So yeah, tough luck. It's not the case in uh, Dart plus Flutter. This is a huge change and I do enjoy this part. Then another significant change was simply the ease of getting started, right? So in Flutter, you don't have to learn the internal library that puts together everything to get it running. You know, in the earlier versions of Angular or React, you had to know a lot about Webpack, you know? So it was quite a overhead to learn how Webpack works. And it was like a very um, difficult to understand system if you are new to it, right? So there were like all these, you know, pipes and stuff that you have to assemble together to get your files. And of course you could use a create uh, app repositories or tool, you know, you could create it via some sort of a generator and then that hides the details from you. But very often you'd have to turn back to your Webpack config and do something in there, even if it was generated, right? So that's mm. kind of annoying. And here in Flutter, I never had to touch this thing, right? So it was very convenient. I don't have to deal with this part. Then uh, setting up the EDA was very straightforward. Connecting to the phone was straightforward, you know, con good connection. Android Studio works very well with this part. And um, most important, build times are very much improved. So in Angular, I was used to wait sometimes five minutes to see, you know, a wow. build running from starting the app to the build running here, I usually expect less than a minute, half a minute sometimes, mm. right? <laughs> Depends on your machine and whatever, but usually it's under a minute and that's a significant improvement, right? So if I have to demo For that, sure. then I type the command, wait a bit, and then it's running. <laughs> that's good. So. These are already significant uh, reasons for me to change towards Flutter, right? But then I also learned about this thing about, okay, it's doing it in Canvas. It requires this Kia engine. It has gotchas on the mobile. So it's still like a tough choice to make, you know, in certain regards. And some people would argue that it is like BS solution. Well, <laughs> yeah, depends on what you're looking for, right? Because let's just be aware of my context or whoever is using Flutter's context, right? Context being that you are a startup, you don't have that much money, right? So you want to be able to access these platforms which have valuable clients, iOS, or you want to go to Linux or you want to do some Windows stuff, right? 
it's mm. not accessible for you to start developing in all these platforms for each one of them to do native code, right? So for mm. me, it was absolutely mandatory to have as many platforms as possible in order to succeed in this uh, startup. So Flutter is like no brainer choice for me, even with the gotchas that it has, right? Mm -hmm. I still get the benefit. And then uh, there might be the question of like, okay, so you chose Flutter and then what if you stumble on this one? What if you stumble on that? Well, mm -hmm. I'll tell you, if I manage to become successful as a business and I have, you know, like, let's say turnover of like, I don't know, half a million per year, per month, or maybe one million. I don't know. That's like dreaming right now for me. Mm -hmm. But let's just say it's happening this way. Well, okay, then I'm going to invest in creating, you know, native clients for these platforms and start migrating away from Flutter if that is the case, right? Because that's what like the big tech companies do the moment they have like something successful. They will, you know, create a native app for it. It's like best performance. It's like fastest loading time, all this stuff, right? greatest experience but that can be done by big tech i'm not a big tech i'm a small tech right so <laughs> <laughs> so flutter is like a huge improvement in my life you know like oh, definitely mm -hmm. i want to make use of it so yeah i mean like to those that say that flutter is like a poor choice or it has like a broken foundation yeah well good for you what can i say <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah 